Hi, my name is Troy, and you're watching Prodify Cycling, where we share guides and tips for the beginner cyclist. Now, standing cycling and pedaling can be difficult, but it's an essential skill to apply while riding your bike. If done correctly, with proper technique, it can give you an edge to your riding and provide many benefits. So in this video, we're going to consider 12 benefits of cycling standing up on the pedals. Number one, it gives you an advantage accelerating. Now, let's say, for example, that you're at a stoplight with cars and they're lined up behind you. As the light turns green, you gotta go. It can be slightly difficult to take off while sitting on the bike. So cycling standing up is gonna help you accelerate forward in less time than you would when seated. Another instance in which you would need to accelerate is when you're in a congested city or town. People in cars don't always see cyclists when making a turn. So they may cut out in front of you to try to beat you making a turn. So one of the best moves a cyclist can make to avoid this is to gauge when you need to accelerate. Take the lane and keep cars behind you, not allowing them to cut you off. Improve sprint and interval riding. Now you ever notice of the greatest athletes in cycling, the pros, how they stand up while sprinting that final stretch before the finish line? They do this because the best way to achieve that is by standing up on the pedals. Sometimes cycling races begin with the sprint so they can get position. It's very wise for a cyclist to sprint ahead of the pack though to avoid ending up in a stacked pile of riders. About interval training, this type of training includes alternating between different speeds and power. Cyclists who race especially need interval training to develop fast twitch muscles, enabling them to accelerate efficiently to allow that extra burst of speed when they need. Three is climb hills better. You see, standing up on the pedals doing climbs it shifts the stress off of other muscle groups and it places more focus on your quads and your upper body. One way to do this right is to engage the hips in your pedal stroke to drive the ride. Leaning over the pedals or handlebars a little bit is going to transfer some of the weight off the rear, bring it to the front, and it's going to enable you to put more power out while climbing the hills. The fourth benefit, it gives you a break from sitting. You see, transitioning from a seated position to standing while cycling is going to help relieve some of that back pain you might have. Now the only thing with this position is that it can be short-lived because you exhaust more energy when you're standing up cycling on the pedal. Fifth benefit, increases blood flow in the lower extremities. See, blood flow can improve with short episodes standing while cycling. But keep in mind that with any exercise, blood circulation can improve. Cycling standing up is just one of those ways in which you can achieve this. But sitting actually slows blood flow making circulation for the legs down and back up to the heart happen inefficiently. So standing while riding, it squeezes the leg veins, pushing blood up to the heart more efficiently. And this movement is actually gonna help promote and allow more air to go through your lungs. Number six, more control of your bike. Now standing while cycling in low speeds is gonna allow you to maneuver between tight places and jump potholes and curves and whatnot. But in my experience, I also noticed too that I'm more confident cornering at low speeds while standing up. Now the way that the body's positioned and the weight is distributed, it allows more stability. So you're less likely to fall when you're cornering and standing up on the pedals since you can shift your body away from the turn while balancing the bike. Now the seventh, it makes vehicles notice you more. Now in order to not only see and be seen, standing up on a bike near cross streets or high traffic areas it's gonna make you more noticeable. Here's why. There's been times where I stood up from a seated position and it made the vehicle across from me more aware that I was there. You know, it's that little things that you do on a bike that can make a world of difference in avoiding an accident. The eighth benefit. You know, it's better for your knees. And when the knees are under stress, they're gonna behave differently due to the overuse. So although riding seated itself is not bad, um, you wanna alternate between seated and standing. Now you would know when to switch between the two positions, when the tension on the knee bothers you, but be mindful of what bothers you. And then when things become uncomfortable, allow for knee extension and stand up. The knife benefit, it promotes better visual acuity. Now cycling and standing up, it will allow a better view for you to see what's in front of you, the side, and from across from you. Now being able to see obstacles from afar becomes especially important in a sport of mountain biking too. I can attest to this. Since mountain bikers often ride through rough and rugged trails, having a clear view of where you're going or coming up against is gonna become essential. The 10th benefit, 
it helps to ease through poor road conditions. So when riding over poor road conditions, it can throw you around, making the ride unstable and uncomfortable. So standing up while cycling over those road conditions can prepare you to absorb the shock. Now let's not forget how stable you'd also be if you were riding in the rain. See, riding in a seated position can actually lower your reaction time if you happen to slip in the rain. But when standing up, you can react more quickly and get your foot out, maybe the clips are off the pedals and have more balance. The 11th benefit, it builds strong quads. How so? Well, many muscles are engaged in the legs while cycling, but the quads and hamstring muscles do more of the work, especially when you're climbing up hills. Now, the reason the quads are built up is due to the fact that there are the power and force behind pushing those pedals. You see, standing, it uses your own body weight to add resistance, therefore providing an excellent workout for your quads. The 12th benefit, it takes pressure off your lower back. Cycling and standing up, it will help align your body in a way so the weight is not compressed in the lower back so much. Now, with riding in a seated position, on the other hand, either upright as well, you stretch it across the bike, and it can place more stress or unneeded stress to your back. One tip is to really take the load off your lower back. Many cyclists will get a bike adjustment at a bike shop, and it will kind of help them fit their bike better. But if they find that those options don't work, you know, the next thing they might have to do is work on strengthening their lower back and the muscles around them, like your core. Now, cycling and standing up is not just limited for climbing hills and dashing across the finish line because there are you know, many benefits that we outline here that can make you a better cyclist. Yeah, but I want you to find out more if you check out my, the website, prodifycycling.com, because there you'll find you know, more content. And also, if you like this vi the content of this video, <laughs> you know, this channel, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know.